We're back to the Neil Haley Show. And I had this guest on, I think about four years ago, we were talking education. Now she's going to educate me about some really important things. And that involves prosperity. And I didn't think when I met her, the, the types of stuff, so I got to learn more and more about her, her expertise level in so many different areas, but especially meditation. So I'm excited to welcome the program author, Dr. Susan Shamsky. How are you, Dr. Susan? Thanks for stopping I'm by. Great. I'm great. Thanks for inviting me, Neil. Yeah, and I'm, we're going to talk today about prosperity meditations, because I think that, you know, the word prosperity is important looking at 2022, especially what we've been dealing with with COVID and stuff. We have to have some hope, right? We have to have some belief system that we can be in control or kind of in control if we truly believe, right? Absolutely. Attitude is everything. Intention is everything. In the very first verse of the first chapter of the Dhammapada, which is the most important Buddhist scripture, Buddha said, all that we are is the result of what we have thought, which I think it really is a stunning statement. All that we are is the result of what we have thought. And he goes on in that same verse to say, if a person speaks or acts with a pure thought, then happiness follows him or her. If a person speaks or, and acts with an impure thought, then unhappiness follows him or her. So he's talking about not only our thoughts, but also our words, what we say, and what we do, our deeds. So he is saying in this verse that we're creating our own destiny moment by moment, day by day, through every thought, every word, and every deed. And in fact, Jesus said something very similar. He said, we are not defiled by what we put into our mouths. We are defiled by, by what comes out of our mouths. So they're both saying, yes, we create our destiny, especially through thoughts, words, and deeds. Why do so many people miss this, uh, Dr. Susan? Why do the people miss this? And they just, you know, don't believe that this is, this is possible. Yeah, the thing is, people don't believe it because they don't want to take responsibility for the fact that they've created their, the mess that they're in or the non-mess or whatever they've created. Uh, they want to blame someone else for that. And, you know, so it's kind of not really owning up to our own power. The good news is that because we've created it ourselves, that means that we have the power to change it if we so choose. And there's a perfect timing and think about change is because everybody's reinventing themselves or different things, especially when they think they're in a specific area. But if you're not happy with your life, you're not happy about where you're going. You have to make those changes, Dr. Susan, and to start. And if you're not happy financially, and especially in this book, you have to you can really have a blueprint to really follow right in this, especially with the yeah. meditations that are available in the book. Right. It's important for us to start somewhere, you know, we can't just wallow around in desperation that uh, overcomes us. We have to start somewhere. So this book, Prosperity Meditations, is a great way to start because it helps us to change our destiny and uh, any method that you use that's in the book does produce instant results. When I say instant results, what I mean to say is that it changes our mood immediately. And when we have a different mood, when we are in a different mindset, that immediately changes our life on every level. And see, that's such a great point. Our mind, when we feel down, when we feel upset, we're attracting it to continue. And if we have this vicious cycle of every day doing that, we're going to have the same result every day. That's not the result we want. And so by using your meditations and going through this practice, you can change your outlook at that specific moment that could transform you very quickly, right? Absolutely. So in this book, Prosperity Meditations, there are several different methods. Uh, one is guided meditation. And guided meditation, I think, is really the easiest way to meditate because all you have to do is follow the instructions 
I call it the do nothing program. You do nothing, nothing, and less than nothing. And you, less you do, the better, better result you'll get. So with guided meditation, you just follow step by step, whatever it is you're reading in the book. Uh, but even, I think it would be even better is to record the guided meditation onto your device and then sit really comfortably in a chair and get you know, really, really comfortable and then start the playback, close your eyes, and then your own voice will guide you into the guided meditation. And it's very powerful. So there are many guided meditations in, in this book, Prosperity Meditations. Also affirmations, there are affirmations, affirmative statements, positive statements, and when we say the positive statements, we get, like I said, instant results. They're very, very powerful. And also there are mantras in the book. Mantras meaning Sanskrit words that have specific results that can help us to increase our prosperity. Uh, this book is not just about financial prosperity and abundance. The subtitle is Everyday Practices to Create an Abundant Life. So in the book, there are several different sections. Uh, one is unlimited thinking. Two is unlimited good. The next, unlimited health. Then unlimited love and unlimited planet. So in all these different areas of life, we want to be able to be unlimited, to have an unlimited life. Exactly. And so you're right. So some people say money is important, but also your health is very, very important because without health, you're not going to have wealth. And if you're not, and also if you're not happy, it doesn't matter about health and, and wealth because you're just not going to be happy. So your body's not going to feel it and you're just not, it's just not going to be good. So it's important to have a balance, it sounds like, in all those areas. So that's why utilizing your book in this way through meditation, guided meditation and different affirmations and stuff will help you in multiple ways, not just with your wealth, but other things as well. Absolutely. Yeah, all areas of life uh, we want to cover. And also in the book, there are specific exercises. I'm not talking about physical exercises, but just different uh, little tasks that you can do to help you to focus your attention on your goals, on your targets, on what you want to achieve. Because I've always believed that the easiest way to make anything happen is to make a final firm decision with absolute resolve and absolute determination and then just go out and make it happen. That's what I've always done in my life. And I've accomplished so many goals in my life as a result of just that attitude, the attitude of, yes, I can do it. And I'm just gonna go out and get it done. <laughs> Exactly. When you say you you have those doubts in your mind, you're missing out in so much in life, right? When you have a plan, you have an action, and then you that back in your mind, should I try this? Or I'm a little, no, just go ahead and do it, it sounds like. And that's what you've done in your life. Right. I mean, rather than wobbling back and forth, uh, if it's really something that's your true heart's desire, then absolutely go for it. But it's very important that we realize what our true desires are. Because otherwise, if we make a laundry list of things that we want to, goals that we want to achieve, and then we achieve those goals, <laughs> and those, the achievement does not produce happiness, then you know we weren't meant to, <laughs> to have that goal achieved in the first place. So, what we need to do first and foremost before making any decision is to find out what is highest wisdom for us to do in the first place. So that's why intuition is also very important in that it's really necessary for us to be in contact and connect with our own higher self, with our true divine nature, our true nature of being, which can guide us and tell us what is highest wisdom and highest good for us. So that's interesting that you talk about knowing what's best for you to make you happy. How do you define that? What do you do? And I guess through meditation is really the whole theme of this interview is, you know, we're talking about prosperity meditation, but we're talking meditation. 
because that's something that a lot of people have difficulty with, Dr. Susan. They can't say, I'm going to take 30 minutes away, or I'm going to manifest for like 10 minutes, or I'm going to meditate for an X amount of time. No, my day's too busy. I just can't do it. No, no, no. And then that's what you're missing out from. So specifically, you're not going to know what's going to make you happy until you spend that time in meditation to figure it out. Is that correct? Uh, yes. And um, I recommend, obviously, guided meditation because it's the easiest meditation to practice. And also, most people, when they meditate, they just sit down, they're very passive, they go into this quietude, they go into a state of peacefulness, and then they come back out of meditation and go about their day, and that's it. But in fact, what I recommend is when you are in that deep state of meditation, that's the time to do something that people don't usually do when they're in meditation. And that is to ask, ask a question, ask for guidance, ask for inspiration, ask for a specific goal that you want to achieve, ask for inner peace, whatever it is you wish to have, ask for it and ask specifically. You might even ask about a specific problem, like you might, you might call upon your higher self and say, please tell me what is highest wisdom for me to do in this conflict that I'm having with my boss. And then you take another big, deep breath, take a big, deep breath. And then you do what I call the do nothing program. That means do nothing, nothing, and less than nothing. And then the answer will occur to you. It will either come as a vision or some words or a feeling like a gut feeling. So those are the three main ways that we receive messages from our higher self. And when you start that dialogue, then you start a conversation that will truly enhance your life in so many miraculous ways, because you're being led by, shall we say, the best part of yourself, your higher self, or you could even call upon divine beings, deities, angels, archangels, and dialogue with them and receive inspiration healing, wisdom, whatever it is you wish to receive. So it's a fantastic experience to be in touch with your higher self and to listen to the still small voice and indeed to be led by spirit in your everyday life. Uh, this is the most fulfilling way uh, to achieve your goals, to live a very rich and full and abundant life. When we talk about intuition, how do you become very intuitive? Especially because a lot of times we think that we talk ourselves out of things, right? We, we use that, the, our subconscious at times tells us things that maybe we should have tried, right? And we were told not to. How do you know when your intuition is right? Yeah. So that's a very important point that you're bringing up because intuition takes practice. Intuition is a learnable, teachable skill. It's just like playing the piano, for example. When you want to play the piano, you have to practice. It doesn't sound very good. You make a lot of mistakes. No one wants to hear it. And then later you get much better at it and then everyone wants to listen to you. So similar with intuition at first, it's a little bit, you take some baby steps and you know, it's a, you're a little shaky and you're not sure. And also you make mistakes, you know. The important thing is don't be afraid to make mistakes because you will, you will make mistakes. Just don't be afraid to do that. <laughs> and then the other point is that uh, in order to distinguish and discern between that true voice of spirit, that true divine voice and other voices in your mind, I do have a 10 test system for that, which I teach in a couple of my books. In this book, which is Divine Revelation, and also in this book, Awaken Your Divine Intuition, these two books will help you to uh, learn how to become more intuitive, learn how to listen to that inner voice and how to test whether the message is the real thing. I have a 10 test system that you can learn in these books because you, you might be receiving your message from one of four places the spiritual world, the mental world, the astral world, or the environmental world. Those are the four basic places where we receive messages. So you wanna be getting your intuitive messages from 
the highest plane from the spiritual world. Why the spiritual world versus the other worlds? Because the other worlds are erroneous, false, and unreal. <laughs> and it takes time, right? You've learned so much in your oh, takes experience time. and with meditation and things like that. But you say instantly you could feel better by doing these guided meditations because then you're mindset and then you can get move on right a lot of times what's keeping people from you know believing in the law of attraction believing that you know you can have what you want is the missing component is the doubt right and if you, and you need to constantly reaffirm yourself with affirmations different things to get yourself back in because those three other messages that come through are the messages will mess you off of that incline going up that incline plane right Yes, yeah, so uh, prosperity meditations. If you uh, speak one of the affirmations from the book, that will give you an instant result. You'll immediately have a more positive mindset, more positive attitude. And like I said in the beginning, uh, attitude is everything. Your intention is everything. Buddha tells us, Jesus tells us over and over in so many of the ancient scriptures, you know, are saying the same thing, the Upanishads, all the scriptures of all religions are telling us the same thing, that we are creating our own destiny, our own reality through every thought, every word, and every deed. So if you go around saying, oh, I'm so unhappy, I'm so poor, or I'm so overweight, oh, I'm so weak. If you say that, just feel the vibration of those words that I just spoke. Yeah. And now feel the vibration of these words. I am filled with light. I am healthy, I am strong, I am powerful, I am wealthy, I am happy, I am whole, I am filled with light, I am filled with love, I am filled with truth. Now just feel the vibration of those words. Which vibration do you want to live in? Be very careful about what comes out of your mouth. Jesus said we're not defiled, I'm going to repeat this, Jesus said we're not defiled by what we put into our mouth, we are defiled by what comes out of our mouth. And that's so important to, to look at. And the amount of day that you speak, speak to people around you, you know, meditate, have thoughts that go through your brain throughout the day. Make sure that those are positive thoughts, po positive affirmations. If they're not, you need to slow down and, and recon reconnoiter, right? Get back into where you want to be, figure out that spot. And then with your book now, go and find some of those affirmations, put them up on a, you know, in your mirror or someplace or on your laptop and say, okay, now let me get back to the sense. Let me get where I need to go where there's peace again. And then it's, it's very interesting. I think that Dr. Susan, if they understood again, your history, reading some of your other books, your experiences of how you learned meditation and the challenges you went through in your life to figure this out, you are a perfect path as a, uh, as a leader and a guide to guide people the right way when it comes to meditation. Isn't that correct? From the experience? I've had, I've had a lot of experience with meditation, yes. <laughs> and life, right? For a long life, time. The, <laughs> and life, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Especially reading all, your, read all her books and you'll find that out. Uh, when you're talking about recording that, are you to read the guided meditations then record it like in some voice, something, and then go back and listen to them. Is that what you're yeah. saying? When you're, oh, that's yeah, a great record it, record it onto a device, your computer or whatever. And then uh, after you've recorded it, then you sit comfortably in a chair and get really cushy, lots of pillows, you know, get into a comfortable place, comfortable temperature, comfortable place where you won't be disturbed. And then start the playback and then close your eyes and just follow along. Just follow the instructions. It's that simple. When do you know that you're really not happy? Isn't this such a good, really good question? Because we always are setting ourselves in goals. We can make ourselves feel like we're happy. How can you tell if you're happy or not happy? <laughs> That's an interesting question that no one has ever asked me. How can you tell when you're not happy? Well, I suppose... You just don't feel good. <laughs> when you're happy, you're feeling more centered. You're feeling, uh, you have a can-do attitude. You're feeling uh, joyous. You're feeling positive. Uh, you, 
you're not down in the dumps. So yeah, there's, you can tell the difference as to whether you're happy or you're unhappy. I think it's pretty obvious. It's it, sometimes it isn't really obvious because trust me, and a lot of people, they, they go about their lives and they say, I'm happy. And they're really not truthfully happy. So these are good things to, to look at. And this is just mm-hmm. me looking at it from my life and my experiences and everything. And now saying, my gosh, there's a blueprint. There's a true blueprint. Like I was doing a lot of guided meditations uh, last year in 2021. And, and now in 2022, I haven't. And it was a certain time period where, hey, it was really tough. And I just definitely turned to those because I needed that extra oomph. I don't need it now, but I'm saying, oops, I need to. And <laughs> because guess what? When I remembered, oh my gosh, you know, it's just a tough situation, bad situation. I turn that on and my, my mind completely changes. Then, right. I, then I have the next hit. I know what the next thing to do is. And the more I immerse myself into those things. So what do you recommend for meditation per day for, uh, I guess, a novice? How much time a day? I think it should be very individual. Some people like to spend five minutes. Some people like to spend half an hour. It's really up to you what you what, how you can fit it into your day, whether you want to make it into a routine whether you want to do it whenever you feel like it. You know, I think it's uh, people should just do, go with the flow, go with what is right for them. Cause I don't think there's a prescription for every individual uh, for all individuals. I think it's very individual. And then there's the, and then during the day that are affirmations or mantras, they aren't counting in the day. That's something you should do throughout the day to keep your, your, focus so you don't lose your focus right that's an important process i agree with that anytime you feel like you're a little off or there's something not quite right that would be the time to take the book and uh read one of the affirmations there's an appendix in the book by the way in the back of the book so that you can choose whatever meditation or affirmation you would like to uh, say at the time for example We'll just give you some examples. Uh, in, in prosperous awareness, uh, we have, uh, for example, all things are possible is you know, one of the affirmations. In prosperous empowerment, we have uh, an affirmation called, I create my reality. In prosperous happiness, there is an affirmation, accepting what is. In prosperous pathway and purpose, there is a prosperous purpose affirmation. It's making visualization. And, and by the way, there's a lot. I'm just picking things out. Yeah. There's a lot of these in each chapter. In prosperous career, there is a vocation on purpose or landing your dream job is another one. Prosperous home and automobile. Healing, there's one, healing your home atmosphere. Prosperous lifestyle, uh, life without limits is one. Prosperous bank account, there's a money machine affirmation. Prosperous physical health, there's a life energy exercise. Prosperous mental health, healthy self-talk is one of the affirmations. Prosperous spiritual health, there's a violet fire affirmation, that's one. Uh, Prosperous self-love, There are self-worth mantras, prosperous life partner. There's a perfect mate and companion uh, affirmation. Prosperous relationships. There's a family harmony would be one. Prosperous world, uh, abundant life meditation is one. Heaven on earth chant is another. So in all these different areas, there are affirmations you can use, mantras and guided meditations. Wow. Then everyone needs to get, go ahead and pick up your book. Where's the best place they can pick it up? Well, any place books are sold. <laughs> you can get Prosperity Meditations. I do recommend that you order it from or you get it at your local bookstore because I think we should, uh, if at all possible, we should support local businesses at this time rather than the giant conglomerates. So I recommend that you do that. And uh, 
and you can get it anywhere though. You can order it anywhere. And the forward was written, that was really interesting as well, right? Who wrote the forward for your book? Uh, Joe Vitale wrote the forward for this book and he was in the film, The Secret. He was one of the stars of The Secret, one of the main stars actually. Absolutely. So people need to definitely check it out, but I just, you could just see from the vibe. And if you read, I recommend you read all of Dr. Susan's books, especially ones to learn about her background and things like that. Cause it's very interesting to look at where she's gone and how she's really guiding so many people. And your website's another great resource, isn't it? Isn't that correct? Dr. Dr. Susan.org is my website. That's Dr. Susan.org. And another website is divine travels.com that's d-i-v-i-n-e-t-r-a-v-e-l-s.com that's plural on the travels divine travels.com all right well we appreciate you coming on i really enjoyed catching up with you and i'm telling you you've really given me uh, some points to say okay what was i missing to help me become more happy i have to read dr susan's book and then I need to record it and listen to it over and over again in guided meditation. So I appreciate you coming by and thanks again for coming on the show. Thanks so much. I really enjoyed speaking with you today, Neil. All right, take care now. Thanks again. Bye-bye. You. You're listening and watching the Neil Haley Show. We'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> 